Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Nikki Losophy. I am Nikki, of course. Y'all should already know me by now because I know y'all been rocking with me. But if you're new to my channel, new to my page, welcome. Thank you for joining the Nick Force. Okay, so y'all, today we will be talking about standards. Now, by standards, I mean people I'm going to date, people that I am potentially, you know, going to be in a relationship with and, you know, move it along from there. So, the first, the very first thing that someone that I'm going to date must have is you must have goals, okay? You can't just be wandering around aimlessly, you know, just doing this or doing that. You got to have a set goal. Set goals, plural, with an S. Okay, if you don't have any goals, you're going to be complacent. And you're gonna not going to have the desire to do better. Okay? When you have goals, you're constantly working towards, you know, reaching those goals. You're constantly making steps towards getting to, getting to those goals. But if you don't have any goals, that means you're complacent. You're just comfortable just being there and just, you know, doing nothing. And I have goals. I have short-term goals. I have long-term goals. I have all kinds of goals, okay? And I'm always striving to reach these goals. I'm taking steps to reach these goals. And you need to have goals too, okay? Per, yeah, goal. And then when we get together... We need to have goals for what we're going to do as a couple and things we're going to do at, you know, being in a relationship. How, you know, do we plan on moving um, to being more than just dating? Are we going to be married? Like, we got to have goals. Not saying that that's something we have to discuss right off, but you, you need to have intentions for being with me. I think that's a better way to say it. Intentions. But just for that part. Now, the second thing is something that's very, you know, it's important to me. And I have even recently cut somebody off for this. Oh, shit, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, my light was falling. Y'all see, I'm trying to get this line together and I have a light, but it, it, it almost fell. So I had to catch it. But um, you have to be supportive. You have to be supportive of me. You have to always be encouraging me to be better, encouraging me to do better with my brand, encouraging me to be better as a woman. You have to be supporting me. And I'm going to support you in return. Everybody around me know I'm a big supporter of anything that they're doing. If they're doing something positive, I'm supporting them. Okay? I support. If my friend wants to sell tap water out of a plastic bag, I will buy me some tap water out of a plastic bag. That's just how supportive as a friend that I am. And for people that I'm dating, I'm going to be supportive of you too. If Whether you're doing, whether you're acting, whether you're doing music, that's been the, you know, main thing that guys that I've came across do is music. I will be your number one fan. Like me. If you ain't got nobody, it's me. Play it for me. I'm going to tell you what he need. I'm going to, you know, I'm just that type of person. So, if you're going to be with me, you have to be supportive. And you have to show interest in the things that I love. Not saying that you have to be, you know, as gung-ho about them as I am. But show just a little bit of interest. If I be like, hey, baby, look at this video for me. Do you like it? Read this for me. Do you like it? Like, don't just brush me off. Act like you're being supportive. Like, even if it's not something that you're technically in. You're going to support it. And you're going to read it or look at it just because it's me. And I want you to give honest feedback. If I ever show anybody a piece of my work. Whether it's a video. Whether it's a snippet from a book. Whether it be anything. I want honest feedback. And I don't want you to just look at it. And be like, oh yeah, that's good. No. Critique my ass. Like, that's the same way I'm going to do you. Anybody like who done played music for me, anything. I'm going to give you my honest feedback. I done read people things. I done read people's stories. I'm giving honest feedback. And that's what I'm going to need from you. Those two kind of go hand in hand. The showing interest in things I love and giving honest feedback. That's what I need from somebody. And of course, you, like I said, you're going to get that in return. So you should be wanting to give that. Now, this next thing that I'm about to talk about. 
I will absolutely not compromise on it. N no way. And let me just say this. I always say that I'm not going to get on religion. Just simply because it's a touchy topic. But if I'm talking about my standards, that's a part of me. So I'm sorry if I'm offending anybody, but you have to believe in God. And that's just me personally. I just feel like somebody who I'm going to intertwine my soul with, who I'm going to connect with, and somebody that I'm potentially going to have children with. You have to believe in God. And that's just, that's something that's very, very important to me. I've ex dudes off for disrespecting my Jesus. You will not do that. No way. I'm sorry. And I have friends of other religions. I have friends who don't really know what they believe. I have friends who, you know, all the science stuff. We don't talk about it. Because I don't believe what you believe. You don't believe what I believe. And that's just what it is. So, I don't knock what anybody else believes. These are just my personal standards, okay? So, if we're going to be together, you have to believe in God. I'm not saying you have to be one of those holier than thou because I'm not a perfect Christian myself. But you have to believe in God. Simple. Simple as that. Now... Moving on to the next thing. It's, you know, it's, it's pretty important. You have to dress nice and you have to smell nice. I, I'm a, my face gonna tell on me before my words, before my, my mouth bring out any words. If you smell, I'm just, I'm just gonna be like, mm -hmm. I can't hide my expression when it comes to smell. Nobody, I, nobody in my family can. If you think you're going to see it on our face. You feel me? So, and when it comes to dressing, like, my dad told me not to let a man come, not to let a man come see me looking any kind of way. And that's just what it is. If we're going out, you know, we're just, you know, going out on the town, whether we're going to dinner or anywhere. You, I'm going to put on clothes. Because I, when I'm with somebody... I feel like I'm a reflection of them. Not only am I a reflection of myself, I'm a reflection of them. So, I'm going to make sure I look nice. Excuse me. And you need to make sure you look nice because the same way I'm a reflection of you, you're a reflection of me. So, I'm not going to be looking, you know, how I'm looking and you looking how you looking. Like, y'all, it was this one guy. I was going out. I was going. I was dating. We was dating. And we was like finna go somewhere, we finna go get some eat. So I put, you know, I put on a dress and you know, I put on my shoes and my little makeup and my hair. Dude has on a t-shirt and some cargo pants. I'm like, and they're not even on, like this is just a regular ass t-shirt and some little busted cargo pants. I'm like, you know what? We can just get some take back to the house. Cause I'm not, I'm not finna do this. Not today. I'm sorry. My dad told me, don't let no man come see me looking any kind of way. So I'm not. And that's just what it is. Now, the next thing is a little bit petty, you know. It may be a little bit petty, you know. I'm all for feminism. I'm all for feminism. I'm all for equality, all that. But you have to take my trash out. I'm sorry. Just because I don't like doing it and I feel like a man should do it. That's just for me. Yes, I hate taking my trash out. Like, I just really don't feel like I need. I should have to take my trash out. I take my trash out now because I live by myself. Unless I can convince, like, somebody else to do it. But, I have to take my trash out now because I live by myself. So, if I'm with you, you're going to have to take my trash out. Whether we live together or not, you're going to have to come to my house gather my trash like i'm it's gonna be in bags already you know you just gotta pick it up and take it to the dumpster so you're gonna have to take my trash out that's a standard for me now moving on these last two things i saved them for last not not for a particular reason but i think they're gonna be the ones i talk about the longest but um the first thing is you have to respect the women in our life now, 
I understand a lot of people don't have the greatest relationship with like their mom or their grandma or anybody like that, but you can not talk to them, but also still respect them at the same time. You feel me? So I feel like the way you treat, regardless of the situation, the way you treat the women in your family is a reflection of how you're going to treat the woman that you're going to marry or the woman that you're going to be dating. I feel like if you treat them bad, you're going to treat me bad. So, with that being said, you have to respect them. No disrespect at all. I don't care if you're mad. I don't care. Do not disrespect any other women in your life. It's, women bring you into this world. Without women, there would be no men. There would be no nobody. So... I'm a, I need for you to respect women, okay? Because I'm gonna want you to respect me. If you're not gonna, if you if you don't respect me, then there's nothing else for us to talk about. Nothing further for us to talk about, okay? I will not I will not let a man disrespect me. I probably did in the past, but going forward with my life, I, no, I will not tolerate any disrespect of any form from any man. You disrespect me, you gone. Just simple as that. Now, um, this next one is important as well. Well, this this is the last point that I'm going to make. Um, you have to want marriage and kids. Now, I understand that you know there are a lot of you know people, a lot of different things, you know, a lot of different reasons why people may not want to get married. I still believe in marriage. I still believe. That marriages can be successful. I still want to get married. And I still want to have children with my husband. I won't compromise on this. I've ended a relationship. Even though I'm not ready for kids right now. I've ended a whole relationship. Because he told me he did absolutely not want any kids. I was like, you sure you want to change your mind? Because, you know. I was like, you sure you want to change your mind? He was like, no. I'm like, you know what? We good. Because I know I'm going to want children. We're having sex. I'm not on birth control. That's a whole nother video why I don't believe in birth control. But if I get pregnant, are you going to want me to? That That's what was going on in my mind. I'm like, are you going to want me to like not keep the kid or? I don't believe in abortion. So were you going to, did you plan like that it was a whole situation in itself. And I just wanted to avoid that as a whole. So, I will not compromise on marriage and children. You have to know that I do want to get married. Now, if you can't meet my standards, then you're not the man for me. I'm sorry. If you don't have any goals, if you can't be supportive, if you don't believe in God, if you don't dress and smell nice, if you won't take my trash out, if you don't respect the women in your life, and if you don't want marriage and kids, don't even bother coming my way. Because I'm not the girl for you. I'm trying to become the person that God wants me to be. And with that being said, I can't just keep allowing a certain type of dude to come into my life. You know, one that is not supporting me. One that doesn't have goals. One that doesn't believe in God. Matter of fact, that is one of my, that is probably my... One of my number one questions that I ask a dude, do you believe in God? And I know I catch a lot of dudes off guard, but that's something that I need to know. Because if your answer to that question is no, we don't have anything further to talk about. And like I said previously, I'm not knocking nobody's religion. That's just my personal standard. That's just my personal standard, okay? Thank you all for tuning in to my video today. Day. If you let me know what standards you have for people that you're going to be dating, drop them in the comments, like my page, comment and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for rocking with me. I really appreciate it as always. Now, if you have any topics or anything that you want me to do, email me, nikilosophy at gmail.com. You can write me on my Facebook page, um, nikilosophy. Or my personal page, Nikki Edwards, inbox. 
Thank you so much for rocking with me. Nick Force is the best fan base on the planet.